Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's tutorial, I will demonstrate how to make a single wet pocket for a bomber jacket. Hi, my name is Ayo and welcome to 011 Clothing Tutorials. On this channel, I upload DIYs, pattern drafting and sewing tutorials. If you haven't subscribed yet, kindly do so and do not forget to turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. So now, let's get right into the tutorial. Thank you! I will be working with the following items. Tape measure, pins, a pair of large scissors, seam ripper, a pair of small scissors, the front piece of the bomber jacket and I've already drawn the exact pocket position on it, this black contrast fabric which I've already cut to size. This is the front piece of the bomber jacket, the right side is facing up and I've already drawn the exact pocket position on the right side of the fabric. It is 1 inch wide and 5 inches long. I have fused interfacing to the wrong side of the fabric at the exact pocket position. It is also 1 inch wide and 5 inches long. This black contrast fabric is the inner pocket piece and the size is 7 inches wide and 9 inches long. And I have fused interfacing to the wrong side of the inner pocket piece. On the wrong side of the pocket piece, I have drawn this rectangular box. I also drew these two outward facing triangles and a middle line in between the rectangular box. The rectangular box is one inch away from the top edge of the inner pocket piece and also one inch away from the edges of the two sides of the pocket piece. I will now place the inner pocket piece on top of the main front piece like this, right side to right side, making sure that the two, rectangular, the two rectangles that I drew on the two pieces align with each other. Then I will pin in place. Please note how I place the inner pocket piece on the front jacket piece. The top edge with the rectangular box is facing the side seam while the other side, the area with the largest piece after the rectangular box is facing the center front. If you do not place your pocket piece this way, the pocket opening will be the center front and not the side seam and you won't be able to insert your hand into the pocket at the sides. After pinning, I will sew all around the rectangular box. So I'll go ahead and do the stitching now. So now that I'm done with the stitching, I will use this seam ripper to start cutting the middle line like this and then I will continue with the small scissors. I will snip into the corners of the outward facing triangles like this. After cutting the middle line, I will iron the four corners of the rectangle first before pushing the inner pocket piece to the wrong side. I will now go ahead and do the ironing now. I will iron the four, the four corners first. I will now push the inner pocket piece to the wrong side of the front piece like this. I will now continue ironing till I have a crisp finish to the four corners of the rectangular cutout. I 
I will also turn to the wrong side and iron properly. I will now lift up the inner pocket piece like this till it covers the rectangular hole. Make sure it doesn't overlap, it just covers the hole. I will now iron it in place. Can you see this tiny triangular piece at this corner? I will carefully sew it in place on both edges of the rectangular box. I have cut out this outer pocket piece on the main fabric, which is the same size as the new size of the inner pocket piece. I will be sewing this in place later on. But first, I will carefully sew the triangular pieces at both ends of the rectangle in place first. I will now place the outer pocket piece on top of the inner pocket piece like this, right side to right side. The wrong side of the outer pocket piece is facing up. Can you see that they are exactly the same size? I will now stitch all around the two pieces using half an inch sewing allowance. I will now reduce the same allowance to about one quarter of an inch. I'll trim all around the pocket piece like this. So now the stitching has been done, as you can see, and this is the final look of the single welt pocket. So that's it, guys. We are done. If you find this video helpful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, drop a comment down below. Share this video with your friends who are interested in sewing and do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. See you in my next tutorial. Bye and thank you so much for watching.